Hello and welcome back to StarMate. My name is Rabenschild. I have a guest with me. I have Nathan with me. Hello, Nathan. Hello. Hello. Welcome back to the Star Squadron server. Um, we will do a bit of a tour today. Nathan uh, said he wanted to see what I have built in the meantime and some old stuff he he hasn't seen really in 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 the in the last season of the server. So it's good that I brought my ship with uh, with me. Or <laughs> yes, indeed. Yeah, I'm I'm really looking forward to. We we should have done this a long time ago. I remember we wanted to do this. But now I'm looking forward to all the additions that I haven't seen from your videos, for instance. Yeah, it's it's so funny that we are in the same time zone. But on the other hand, we 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 even sometimes find less of a, of opportunities to do videos. Yeah, together. that's that's true. Um, well, we have unusual playing times. Yeah, that's 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 right. Um, we wanted to first take a look at the dread, I think. Yes. Mm. Yeah, this, in all its glory, is my dread, Nathan. Um, I based it on a starship uh, some people might know from Aliens, the movie Aliens, the Sulaco. That's uh, that's the ship that is featured in there. Okay, I think Chase recommended me watching that movie, but I didn't get around. Good movie if you can stand to not go into your into your basement ever again. <laughs> okay. Something like that. I, I, I'm still mortified and in horror when I have to go to my parents' basement because of aliens. Everything's <laughs> fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. But the, the ship is the ship they yeah. have is great, and I kind of took took the idea from it and went with my own interpretation uh -huh. of it. It is impressive. I have to say, is this a space station next to it, or does it belong to the ship? No, that's that's will be a space station. I anchored it to a space a space station, so with the new Newtonian Newtonian physics, it doesn't drift away from me or something. Like uh, okay, that. yeah. Uh, uh. Um, and the other ship on the other side, that's my miner that is there to to mine, uh, and small ship uh, I just built to gather some resources. Um, these are the ships I took with me from the from the old server, kind of, and now I'm building uh, a space station to maybe build more ships in the future. <laughs> I see. Yeah. So um, right. the jet is kind of it, it, it's my ongoing project. I, I will not stop to to working work on it. Before I had these two big turrets on the top and on the bottom the one in the middle there and then i kind of added more and more to it <laughs> it never stops <laughs> yeah i know i know what you mean i have the same feeling with the mothership i i'm sure when i started it i i said something about completing it in 10 episodes but <laughs> <laughs> no way Nathan. yeah it's now more than 70 episodes let me let so, me show you one yeah. thing one one thing a feature i'm very very proud of maybe go to oh, yes. the front of the ship and take a look i bet at it. it has something to do with moving parts. it has something to do with moving parts i was so <laughs> stoked when the moving parts came in yeah, um yeah. the to the front of the ship and then the top the front is the the candy cane section there that's that's the front and then kind of to the top of it i'm that's a, p a feature i always show off be because it's the only cool thing i can do with moving parts <laughs> <laughs> okay so i i think i have a proper look at the area yeah, give me give me a like these little cavities yeah yeah oh 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 <laughs> <laughs> it's in sequence, even. Yeah, oh. I, man. I, <laughs> Did you put in a delay between each? Yeah, yeah. It, 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 oh, it took amazing. a while to, to yeah. figure that out. I, I had to call oh. in a lot of other people that said, yeah, maybe do this <laughs> and that. Close it okay, again. Yeah, okay, let me let me get back into it. I'm. I went out. I wanted to take a look at it again. Oh, sorry. No, yeah. it's no, I mean, no you saw, problem. You saw it before. Yeah, some <laughs> some of my people okay. know that, and maybe I have at one okay. point I have to, uh, I have to make another recording of it so closing one thing i yeah. need to change and uh some someone of the server uh, jacket came up with uh, an a b b a relay thingy circuit i want to kind of that they close in the in the other the other way around so that um at the moment the the hatch that opens first also closes first and I want to change that in the future so that um, 
kind of it it reverse reverses the the opening. Okay. These are the missile hatches. Below that are are my kind of the the is the Cure, missile yeah. Yeah. loadout of the ship and. So eight, eight launchers. Yeah. Eight launchers and then two in the back. These the front ones are homing missile systems and uh, the in the back are the swarm missiles. Nice. Did you use them a lot? Um, I took I mean, out some pirate. Yeah, I, I took out some pirate stations. Um, we we never got into fights on the server, so I couldn't test it against other people. But um, okay, uh, we yeah. We we could do a test together. I I will not take up the mothership. That's nothing I want to do. <laughs> not not with the real dread, of course. When uh, when I tested it with Gmodism, we also took copies oh, okay. and destroyed each other. Yeah, I still have it saved. I still have it saved. It, yeah. that, that's still that's still the thing we we had to when we went over and all had we all had our our sectors. I lost mine, and. Uh, I was sad about it because I, I had the fear that I also lost the dread, but I had a I had a safe safe of it somewhere and so. Ah yes, yeah. I, I remember that incident, yeah, but least... it, it was never lost. I mean, we had a backup yeah, yeah. of everything, but uh, it it was good that you had this copy. It made everything a lot easier. Yeah. But um, uh, do we wanna wanna have a look inside? I'm really curious we, we how can, you made the inside. We, we can give me give me a sec. One one thing I I. I want to state this for the for the shine guys is you screwed me over with your thrust mechanic changes. I <laughs> the, How's that? Yeah, the, this ship needs to turn to aim because the homing missiles need to turn to aim. Kind of, I need uh -huh. to face where I'm shooting, and the 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 siege cannon, the one on the side here, the the big. Sp the big spiky thing on the side is a siege cannon. That's a mm -hmm. massive cannon that um, uses EMP, not EMP. I th oh, EMP to destroy the shields of stations or something like that. Um, uh, yeah, I need to turn to uh, to aim, and these guys screwed me. Uh, over yeah, with the dread takes thing. obviously long to turn. Yeah, I know yeah, that. It yeah. does. I, I need to. Take a look at it here. I have a I have an opening on the side. You can come in here. We can mm -hmm. we can just use so, the the chorus. It's it's able to to accommodate chorus. Uh, it it also looks very cute, like like this cube that is talking and looking at stuff. <laughs> yeah. You know, the, the asteroids <laughs> are just too small. The asteroids, the astronauts are just too small, in my opinion. It's that's the thing. <laughs> so this is the hangar area. The 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 original. Oh yes, I've seen that video with the the crane the thing that. Yeah. And that's amazing. Uh, the 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 original ship is is kind of a troop transport, so it has mm. drop ships in there and okay. for marines. So you enter from here and then land on one of these pads. No, here. you can you can just open. Oh, this is another door. Okay. And on the back here is another one. So the the, the crane I have in here to 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 kind of store this this drop ship here this is my oh. uh get around ship uh it's not finished yet i need to work a bit more on it but this is the, the my ship to kind of get around and and mm -hmm. just fly to two spaces and i can dock nice. it to the crane and with the the mechanics behind that i can move the crane to one of these hatches here or i can move the crane through the whole area it's that's mm -hmm. okay too can it move from side to side? What, what do you want to see it? Then I will go and. Yes, sure. Show me. Uh, it cannot go up and no, down, no, right? No, no, from no. the looks of it. No. But yeah, side to uh, side. It's, that would completely get over my head. <laughs> <laughs> uh, side to side and back to front. I think is is good. Is good too. I um. I want to have one on top there. The the the, the on the on the top. You see the long rail. That just should go back to front. Let me see. Uh, I never. Um, uh, uh, let me see what I have here. This is the moving part. So uh, there could be problems with the whole thing. I don't know if if all the connections are still established, but you can move it. 
back to front so I can just move it and then stop it and uh, move it back. Okay. Did, did you use the speed controller? No, 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 no. There's no speed controllers on here. Why is it so slow? <coughs> uh, <coughs> yeah, relatively heavy ship. So, why is it so slow? Ah, there we go. Okay. Relatively. I have to clear my throat. Yeah. <laughs> No problem. Relatively, the the top one doesn't work at the moment. I, I there might some settings might have been lost while uh, bringing blueprinting it in or something mm. like that. I mean, it is epic. I I like the slowness, but I usually have to have to use like controllers or maybe I'm. It looks like a crocodile. Your travel ship. I like it. <laughs> like a crocodile. There's yeah. That, that is kind of inspired fish, inspired by yeah. aliens too. They have these. These dropships where you uh, nice. where they okay. can store uh, a big APC in it, something like a tank, and right. but it's just not a, 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 not a good way to replicate that well in here. And I try to go with a with a uh, yeah kind of with the original size of it, and uh, let's say that the the. The detailing in in space engine uh, in space <laughs> engines in in Starmate is not very well with the with the block size. I got you. Yeah. Um, gotcha. Yeah. This is this is the hangar area. the The whole ship is still a work in progress because I I always have to remodel and put in new details and all that stuff. For example, you see I don't know if you see that, but there's one of these logic lines here that sticks out like a. Th sore thumb kind of and I need to yeah. definitely change that over time. Yes, yes. I know. I have some of these lines hanging around too. Uh, and I, I need to hide that. The the, the line is for the blinking lights on the outside. I have these positioning lights on the outside. The the rest is empty halls at the moment and a lot of space for for more systems and I see and upgrades. Um, okay. Oh nice. Yeah. Yeah. This is the the, the kind of the Main body here is shields and scanners and some stuff and some some storage. This will be filled with with more systems. Uh, um, mm -hmm. I try to accommodate. I'm uh, not accommodate, but I try to uh, keep in mind all the tips I got from my community and from from all the people on the server that always told me to build ships this and that way. <laughs> and uh, there's. Not weird stuff on the ship, but cool stuff I, I never thought about before. For example, that my whole energy system is basically one big unit. The whole energy storage is one big yeah. unit. So it's it's just one energy storage for the whole ship. Um, uh, because the people always said it's it's better <laughs> and all that stuff. Um, uh, there are kind of staircases. You can go up to the... To the yeah, I'm at, main. I'm rooms. at the control room now. Ah, control room, good. Uh, oh, for the for the cranes. Yeah. Yes, I I kind of got lost. I have to. Uh, there, the, you can it. you can go up more. G give me a sec. I will come and get you. Get you. Thanks. So. Uh, <laughs> it's flying with the, with the chorus here. I'm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm here. You can just come. Come here and then go up one more level and then you are on the main deck kind of where the where not where the bridge is but behind you is the corridor that goes to the this is the control room the ro room with the core oh and, yeah and um, the core here it started the journey of the yeah it's <laughs> <laughs> it, it the the ship came before the updates or the ship was was built before the updates for that that kind of made the core placement unnecessary before it was placed the core in the middle of sh of the ship because uh, it turns around the core and all that stuff all right and, yeah. um, after that uh, they they changed it to center of mass so it, it just recognizes where's the center of mass of the ship and then turns around that. Mm. You, you know, I never realized that. I never knew that it turn, turned around the core. Uh -huh. I, I never took that into consideration when building my uh, vessel. First, first thing I got told. And then back here, you can <laughs> just come through this corridor, is the machine room. But the machine room is also not a, not a thing that looks amazingly well, but uh, it's... 
the, the room where all the energy storage is and all the I need detailing for everything Ooh, kind yeah, of yeah. Um, here's thrust and so where are we in the middle of the ship we are now in the back that's the back part the, the back. cylindrical okay. back part yeah. Uh, yeah. here's thrust energy storage uh, main energy oh, yeah. storage yeah. and the the whole um, here the power lines the reactor lines kind of uh, the, the 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 center point you it's good to have kind of a, uh, to have your 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 energy lines run through the whole length of your ship to give it uh, sheer size kind of in the end and so here is the the cross point kind of here it goes to the sides to the top and bottom and then to the front and the back I see how much energy are you producing uh, or or capacity let me look that up that should be possible to just go and with the course, the same thrust mechanics are screwing us over too. <laughs> Let me go. It's not much. I think the, the, the mothership produces a lot more. Where is my stuff? Uh, there. I'm producing... If I could see it, let me go into build mode. I'm producing power is uh, 1.9 million. So nearly 2 million energy units okay. per second and I can store 75 million oh nice okay and all that stuff. no that that's not not bad it's not I mean I I only have a lot of power in the mothership because I have extra vagant uh, cannons the cannons oh yeah the cannons yeah uh, my, my cannons are just too exaggerated <laughs> And therefore, I had to, instead of uh, taking away modules, I had to compensate with a lot of power. That's, so, that's, only, yeah. that's only because we build it. <laughs> you said go crazy. We did. Yeah. Um, I have two more decks above this, um, but they are empty yeah, at the moment. Th these will be later the, the don't know, crew, for crew and for, for stuff. Um, ah, I see. Yeah, nice. One, one way through here. This is the 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 cannon part kind of i have uh, uh here's the the cannon axes above us and below us are these these big turrets that i have that i have in the middle of the ship kind of uh -huh. and here in the front is storage i had that filled with all my stuff <laughs> no i don't have all my stuff here storage and the missile the missile rooms we can go to the front here and take a look at the so is this all filled with cargo not spaces? completely no 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 not completely could i see that no i cannot um, see. i was just wondering if i can see you cannot see cargo spaces when not in the ship right i can see a bit of the the outline oh, does it uh, okay but it is it is kind of yeah. it, it is it is just from from here to roughly here and then the the height of my my core that's just cargo it's my okay. my my yeah. main cargo my my personal cargo and on the other side is general cargo and here in the front is the the missile area i will i kind of had the idea to to have it look like uh th this missile room in 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 u-boats or in submarines where the the intercontinental ah, yeah, missiles yeah. are stored and so with the furnaces uh, <laughs> and stuff, <laughs> and uh, numbered numbered missile tubes, the the big nice. black, and and okay. above and here are these hatches, the hatches you huh? see the above them, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I thought. Nice. Okay. Um, <laughs> and we can go to the bridge. The bridge is at the moment a bit in 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 disrepair because when bringing the ship into the onto the server the bridge kind of got lost i don't know why but the bridge was lost yeah the okay the, like a like a chunk error we have to fly through this hole i don't have stairs up there uh, and the hole is oh, the yeah the hole is too yeah. small let me open that up um i i didn't do yeah, do you fit? Yeah, <laughs> not not when I'm yes, here. Yes, but not together. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh. it's, <laughs> it's not working out well here. It's not easy. here on the right. There's just the the bridge, or there was uh, the bridge. I had it uh, here. Yeah. Okay, yeah. 
So it, it got chunked away. Chunked away, it, which was just stuff missing. Ah, so maybe, did you save it while it had a chunk error? That, could, that, that could be the case. That could be the yeah. case. I mean. That's so funny. Chunk errors are so different in, in StarMate than in Minecraft, for instance. Yeah, because the, the a blueprint just picks it up and then... <laughs> yeah, and also, if, if it's not... If there's a chunk error, then it doesn't exist in the world. So if yeah. your chunk error is in the canon or in the power modules, they won't work. Yeah. I know. And it's so funny. And on the top is my most beloved uh, rotating. Okay, so the bridge is on the side. It's on the side, the yeah. I, yeah, that is an interesting. I'm a big fan of asymmetrical ships. The ship is mm -hmm. relatively symmetrical, but I like asymmetrical ships. This is kind of inspired yeah. by by aircraft carriers the normal ship the the ship the inspiration comes from doesn't have the bridge on the side this is this is my kind of style to have okay to have the bridge there kind of like an aircraft carrier or or something like that i don't like these symmetrical ships um i'm don't know i i some of some of the stuff comes just comes out of sheer um uh, don't know it's we can winging yeah this. winging it we can go to the front in a second mm -hmm. and then then uh i can i can show you one of these things where i said man we could i could just wing it uh the back is just don't know i i need to remodel that because i got a tip from someone how to make beautiful thrusters um Ooh, a secret tip uh, yeah, it's not a secret tip, but you can see, for example, if you take a look at the back of the, the small ship there, this is yeah. crystals and then ice. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, layered. I think it's it's crystals and then ice in the front of it that gives this nice glow. Okay, so it's not as standing out as normal crystals. Yeah, and these are, these are just yeah. lamps and you can see that it doesn't look too good. And I want to remodel that to to have the same look to to have this smoothed out look mm -hmm. for the for the thrusters. Well, it doesn't look shabby. No, no, it doesn't look shabby, but it, it can always look better. Yeah, it can always. Look better. Uh, and then, uh, what what are your intentions for the station? For the station, I um, the the middle part, the, this this part down here will be basically storage and energy production and and uh, and part production. I want to kind of cap it off where the sp these spires end at the moment. And it, it sh should be looking like a bit like a rudder of a of a Navy ship of a if you if you come to the side where the the small yellow ship is, you can basically you can see the shape kind of it will have this 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 it looks like a, the a ship's rudder kind of ah yeah 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 i i see and it. on top of it i want to build a kind of a residential zone but i i had before on the on the last server i had this big disc shaped station the next station or this station shouldn't be so big uh, it was more work than i anticipated Okay. And um, I want to slowly yeah. build it up and then on top I, I have um I have this this weird picture in my head um of geo I don't know these uh a dome that is kind of like a, a D twenty, these 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 dice, these D20 dice. I don't know if you know how they how they look. Uh, I know them from a binding of Isaac. Yeah. Uh, and, and I, I they're just 20 sided dice yeah. yeah and i want to have kind of like a, a dome sh uh, so cut one of these in half have a dome shaped shaped like that and then fill it with with oh, yes, yes, with a planet or something like that that's what i have in my head when i'm when mm -hmm. i'm when i'm starting to build that so do you know about blueprint websites for structures like these i mean instead of I'm, circles like yeah. Well, what are those twenty decadons? Yeah, they, they, they have to. They <laughs> have to be. But I'm I'm always trying to yeah. figure it out myself. <clears throat> oh gosh. Okay, you only have to do. If no. it's not twenty yes. sided, I'm okay with that. But I I want these yeah. these triangular kind of like triangular pa plates that are 
that are uh -huh. put the together to to yeah. to build a dome. It. Whoa. Okay. Good luck. Yeah, I'm not sure if that will work out. I I hope it. I hope <laughs> it will. Um, I will later comment. Take a copy for myself. <laughs> uh, thanks. And the 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 underside will basically hold all the all the stuff, kind yeah. of shields, energy, and all that stuff. And the production for you can see that I I started to make this these production units here, factories, and all that stuff. And and my my part storage and um, uh, capsule st storage and all that stuff uh -huh. is will be here. I'm impressed. I have to say, I have to put more. Every time I come to your stuff, you have a subtle way of decorating your halls and your interior that I really like. <laughs> I, I talked to I, I talked to Landscape about. I think Landscape was the one I talked to 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 that about. Or no, Sven. I, one of the guys. I I don't remember. One of the guys I talked to to that about. Um, I like to build big stuff. Because then I can use blocks to make shapes and form shapes. Um, the su the yeah, this subtle to way the to give it then, details yeah. and make it a bit 3D-ish looking. So it's mm -hmm. not just a smooth wall. You can see that the small ship, for example, I, I totally messed that up with the small ship because it kind of looks too smooth. And I will have to learn to use block textures to to give it a bit more of a 3d-ish look and for the dread it worked out because there i can make ridges i can make indents yeah. i can make stuff stuff like that I, I wanted to show you one of these winged things for example normally these these shields here on the on the bottom the the ship that i kind of got my inspiration from doesn't have them but I wanted to to protect the bottom side of the ship a bit more because the bottom side is just made of out of normal hull, and I kind of had the idea to to just then okay I will just bring in some shields, put them in front of the the weak bottom side of the ship, and then I yeah. have I have that protected. This is this is my style of just winging it. And now now <laughs> the next project, one of the next projects I have is get more colored hull. And then make make a, a nose art on the shield, kind of like a don't know a, a, a shark or something like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had that on I, I had that on the, on one of my ship, ships in the in the in the last on the last server. I couldn't take that with me, but uh, I had nose art on it, and I want to have something like that on on this here too. Uh, I'm I'm trying to to replicate this navy ship look with the numbers and and all that stuff. Um, yeah, uh, at the moment, at the moment, my my whole time was call, was kind of soaked up by this project here on the back. I don't know if it works now when we had when we had two people here, but I, I'm trying to make a container system, uh, or I try to make a container system where I can pick up a container with the ship, deliver it somewhere, pick another one up and bring it back to to this station here, for example. It's just kind of picking up a container and picking or delivering containers to stations. Landscape has, okay. has kind of something similar to this. Uh -huh. um, we In the future, we might work together on that just to... Um, the, the ship I have here is not a representation on the, in the end. It's, but I want to come I come in with a ship and just pick up a container. So this container that I have there is full of whatsoever. Uh -huh. And I want to pick it up and uh, fly away with it. Uh, okay. So I come in with my ship, dock to the station. Uh, and uh -huh. then I kind of... Ah, Wow. Nice. I pull it in, <laughs> and then I can yeah. fly away with the container. On my on my <laughs> monitor, it, yeah. it looked a bit janky. No, uh, it, it looked awesome here. And <laughs> I can, and if I come with the container and say, hey, I have a container full of stuff, I want to deliver to the station, I can use the other dock. Uh, if I can, and now it will not dock. Now it docks. Release the container. And then a few seconds later, 
It will be pulled it's in stopped. and it is stocked. How did it just go down straight? Um, Does it do that when you release it? No, that's man figuring that out. Um, pull and push beams. I'm uh, oh. mainly pull beams. I'm using oh, only pull beams. Amazing. It's really. I, I, oh man, I have to use these I, things. I tried. I tried positioning it right. I tried to. Uh -huh. To landscape, for example, I could I could I, I could stay away from pushing arms or something like that. Landscape tried that and it worked kind of, but not very well. But pushing and pulling beams are very precise if you use them. It's amazing how how good they yeah. work on this. They just yeah, pull stuff say, straight this down. Is, um I didn't even know. I mean, <laughs> this opens up new possibilities, right? Um, For um, for how long can you push something this straight? Relatively long. It, it the good thing is with the new Newtonian Newtonian physics, it doesn't really stop. So if you if you give it an, an impulse and pull it down, it will yeah. fly for a good while just oh, down. You just gave me an idea. I, I want to standardize <laughs> that with landscape. So we uh, we want to see if we can uh, standardize for the whole for the whole Star Squadron server the the container pickup and delivery, and the yes. sizes of the containers so we can have we can transport things back and forth. I'm I yeah, hope that we, would can, be cool. we can we can. I'm in. <laughs> I'm totally in on that. Yeah. Um, and then everyone gets a delivery ship or so. The, something something like that we we have to mm -hmm. find other ideas because um it would be nice to also be able to pull them kind of to the sides release them and then pull them to the sides so it's hard to it's hard to describe where's my where's my core there's my core here is that yours no that's my core so mm -hmm. um kind of uh that the the anchor for the container would be here so to speak and then the the container gets pulled to the side that's all possible stations are a bit wonky there uh, i don't understand why but you can't anchor weapons to stations so stations can't have direct weapons or beams mm -hmm. you ha always have to uh, on the on the s bottom side of this you can see that um you have to have a thing docked to the station that has the the weapons in it or the beams in it that's a bit it's, it's a bit dumb, but I don't know. Maybe they changed that. So I have an, an entity dock to the bottom here that has the, the pull beams. Uh -huh. um, and I have to manually kind of... It's it's all in prototype at the moment. Um, mm -hmm. Sven and Jacket helped, or Jacket tried, tried to help me with another idea hat because my main issue was that I normally I didn't want to dock the ship. I just want to have the container, bring it to a position, to a certain position, release it, and then fly away. So don't dock it. It's yeah. not. It's not possible. No. It's not you. That's mm. absolutely not possible. And then Sven said maybe try just the docking, and the docking works out. So I mm -hmm. most of the process is really automatic. So releasing the container from the station, for example, is automatic, and then I just push one button in the ship to pull it towards the ship. Yeah. Problem is, you you have to move the container to be able to dock it again and all that stuff. Docked entities and docking entities works in a in a weird way. It's all possible because they have this magnetic docking now. That's a good thing. Before you had to manually yeah, aim of and all that stuff. Now they have magnetic docking, so I can really stay in cockpit view and do everything from there. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the cool stuff. And that's why I have two different docking positions that might change in the future as well. I think all the, our, our logic people will chime in and say, hey, you could use this and that to change that. But um, at the moment, I have two docking positions, one to pick up the container, one to re deliver the container. Because if I if I dock on the top one, uh, it starts the, the process. Uh, it starts a delay line to to activate the pull beam on the bottom. So mm -hmm. I have to re manually release it from the ship and then it will be uh, brought down to the station with these pull beams. And on the uh, and then I have the other way around with with the uh, the 
bottom position so I dock there the the container will be released from the station and then I can pull it in with the pull beams on the ship um, nice makes the whole thing mm. relatively easy again the docking was not a thing I wanted but everything else is just, uh, not possible yeah not docking is too wonky <laughs> yeah, 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 it doesn't work Cool, I'm impressed. But <laughs> uh, pull, pull and push beams. Oh man, oh man. This uh, <laughs> if you if you want to, it's a new category of inventions that we. Um, I just never realized to use them in a, such a manner. Do that in that yeah. way because yeah. everything else pushers or plungers or something like that that is not working out. No, that that's amazing. I mean, if you can use uh, zero gravity in any way, then it should be this. Yeah. Yeah, the, the Newtonian yeah. physics there makes, makes for this, sense. You have to be a bit careful because, on the other hand, the Newtonian physics, so you don't want, have, want to have it to fly over big, big stretches because then then uh, it could be that something happens and yeah, then there the, are probably going to be fluctuations. Yeah, then the container just yeah. flies away into space and you will never be <laughs> able to get it away. back. <laughs> um, yeah. That's nothing you want. Cool. But uh, for, uh, over uh, short stretches of of yeah, it's 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 a thing you can really utilize here. So well, super. Yeah. Well, thank you for that. <laughs> it's, it's no no problem. I will uh, I will later. Have, yeah, you have more to show than you you told me. Mm. You. Yeah, because I brought a lot I of mean, stuff. <laughs> yeah, okay, you brought, yeah. But still, I mean, uh, a lot of it I haven't seen yet. It's, it's so. yeah, for for this season, kind of my whole, my whole head was at one point kind of focused on this project. It's, mm -hmm. it, it's in the end, it's a relatively simple thing to do. But I tried a lot of stuff before that and tried to, don't know, use plungers, bring the ship into different positions and and, 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 and and it didn't work out and so I had to go with the, the easy the easy work around in the end but it, it took a while to to come to that it, uh, mm -hmm. that took up my most of my time I I didn't build I just <laughs> was focused <laughs> on this and now I kind of have to design a ship around that and all that stuff good nice Good. Yeah, next time I will have to come to you, and you will have to show me what 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 you have there. I, I think you. I saw a lot of your videos and saw that you you have. Uh, you at least go and build nice looking things before you start projects like that that completely take up your time. Oh, it depends on how you look at it. I don't particularly think my builds <laughs> look nice, but um, yeah. But uh, Still. Bringing, bringing shape to it is always good. Yeah, yeah. I, I like to have rooms in which to build. Uh, yeah. Okay. Nice. Well, thank you very much. Uh, I enjoyed that tour. No problem. And uh, people, if you want to see how that stuff came into existence, then you know what to do. Click the annotation or in the description to check out uh, Robin Shield's series on Star Map. That, that, that's so nice of you. And I will say the other way around. If somebody of you doesn't know Nathan yet, then uh, go to the link in the description and go to Nathan's channel and take a look at that. He has the freaking biggest ship on the server here. And take a look at that, how he built that. And take a look at how we built his cannons and all that stuff. Yeah, we did that together. Amazing That's right. stuff. Good, yeah, uh, Nathan, thanks for kind of having me because, hey, uh, yeah, <laughs> and uh, I hope you had some fun. You already told me that you had some fun. Yeah, I did. <laughs> no, it's uh, okay. Thanks, Rob. Okay, Nathan. Have a good one and we catch us yeah, soon. See yeah, see you in the future. Bye-bye.